Hey guys, welcome to another instructional Rocket video. In today's video, we're going to teach you how to do a reverse curl using a kettlebell. So this is a reverse curl out of a kettlebell swing. Not just a reverse curl like you can do with any dumbbell or even with the kettlebell itself, but you're still using the swing motion, thrusting through the hips, and then keeping your elbow down to go into a reverse curl. I strongly recommend that you use a lighter weight when you're doing this because it is going to tug at your arm and your biceps when you're bringing the kettlebell back down. And also, to keep your technique improving, you'll want to start lighter, working your way up, just like with anything that you do resistance training based that is new. First things first, you're going to come into a height position, making sure that your shoulders are engaged and the kettlebell is a few feet away from you. Shoulders above the hips, grab onto the kettlebell, hike it, go to one arm, do about two reps. And then down and curl and curl and curl back to the other side one arm and curl and curl curl going down so basically the idea after you get the kettlebell down, you thrust the hips and you finish with the arm. In other words, the arm is just completing the second half of the motion. Most of the motion is still coming from hips, but you finish with this curl, wrist over the top. A lot of people want to turn their wrist. No need to do that. It just complicates things and could potentially put your wrist at harm down, thrust, you finish with this. That momentum from the hips will help you reverse curl that weight up. Make sure you ask any questions in the comment section below. That's how you do a kettlebell reverse curl out of a swing. I'm Ken Diaz with Rockfit.